Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul. Hopefully you're having an amazing day. NVIDIA's Blackwell performance has been discussed by the company, and the company are teasing that the performance that we're going to be seeing from these new generation of graphics cards will be absolutely incredible. We're going to get into all of that right after this quick message from the video's sponsor. If you're running a copy of Windows 10, which isn't activated, of course, not only do you have to worry about the missing customization options, but there's also that annoying Windows desktop watermark reminding you to activate. Today's video is sponsored by whokeys.com, and they have an excellent price on Windows 10 Professional, as well as Home Keys. Yeah, and they also, of course, sell games. I've bought a few Windows 10 keys with my own personal account to test everything was legit and worked in preparation for this sponsored video. You can pick up one of their keys for 25% off using the coupon code RGT in the checkout. There's links to their website in the video description. Also, if you're building a few systems, there's bundles available too. Again, you can check out whokeys.com and use the coupon code RGT for 25% off the listed Windows 10 key prices. So in an interview with Wired, Jensen Hua, who is of course the CEO of NVIDIA, was asked what the current lead time and wait times are for their um, AI GPUs. He said, well, I don't think we're gonna be catching up with demand this year or perhaps even next year. And then when pressed about the actual wait time specifically, he said, well, he doesn't know exactly what the current lead time is, but, you know, this year is also the beginning of a new generation for us. The interviewer then, of course, immediately picks up on this and asks, well, does this mean Blackwell, your rumored new GPUs? Now, NVIDIA have somewhat referenced Blackwell multiple times at this point in roadmaps, and there's also a benchmark they kind of teased. I'll get more into that in a moment. It dates from late last year. But he said, yeah, that's right. It's a new generation of GPUs coming out. The performance of Blackwell is off the chart. It's going to be incredible. Now, of course, the scope of this interview is definitely focused on artificial intelligence, AI, machine learning, and obviously less so, for example, gaming. But with that said, I do think that much of this could also be definitely in reference to gaming as well, simply because I think Blackwell is going to be very performant when it comes to raw gaming performance. But before we get more into the gaming side of things, it's worth noting that there has actually been a performance slide that NVIDIA did actually release. And this is um, something that was floating around mid-November. And you can see on screen here, this is with a GPT-3 175B inference performance. Um, I believe the slide speaks for itself in terms of the leap. So, of course, they were uh, comparing multiple different generations of graphics cards here, H100 versus H200. And then, obviously, they have B100 as well, which is most likely in reference, of course, to Blackwell. Now, what we know with Blackwell is that, at least according to the leaks and what I've heard, as well as Copperdite 7 Kimmy and some others, that essentially um, there will be two variants of Blackwell. Um, vastly simplifying here for the sake of the video, but there will be variants such as, let's say, B102, um, or should I say GB102, and then there will be uh, variants such as GB202. Again, obviously, they will... Uh, be additional skews to this and we'll talk more about them in just a moment but basically there will be significant architectural differences between those one of the most obvious would be that say the type of memory so the data center variants would have let's say uh, hbm3 types of memory and then the gaming versions of course would stick to something like gddr7 now from what i've personally heard the specifications of the GB202 is going to be 192 SM with 384 bit GDDR7. And uh, this is a video I actually covered, uh, well, should I say released a couple of weeks ago now, roughly speaking. And those specifications seem to be pretty much in line with what Copperdite 7 Kimmy, who's well known, of course, for his NVIDIA leaks, has also put out. And I've also, um, as you can see on screen, put out various specifications for other Blackwell specs. Now, these are design simulations. They could definitely change and of course we may see an instance for example where gb202 let's just hypothetically say a 5090 doesn't utilize the full um the full uh, assortment of sm so we could see 
let's say you know mid 180s or like mid 170s or something like that depending on how they decide to segment the lineup and what type of um let's say competition they face and how how much they actually feel they need to be competitive and to basically get people's money now the performance numbers that i've heard for the gaming variant and again we are referencing here the what's the word i'm looking for design simulation it was around 60% in terms of raster performance and significantly more in terms of ray tracing performance, around 2.5 times if memory serves. Now, I do think that those numbers are probably going to be not unrealistic. Primarily, Blackwell has um, not a huge increase in the number of SM, but what it does do is it cranks the clock frequencies up significantly and it also has some major improvements across the architecture. Now, of course, it does definitely have um, a possibility where some of these changes are only specifically going to be, let's say, for the data center. But I've heard that uh, um, the caches L0 and L1, they're fully unified. The um, new bus structure also seems to be implemented. It's kind of like uh, Apple's M3. Um, all of the lower end SKUs as well will be using GDDR7. Um, but one of the big real changes is apparently going to be the software stack and just ray tracing in general. It really does seem that for NVIDIA, Blackwell is just going to double down on the ray tracing performance, which honestly is just kind of expected at this point. Um, and I, I think we can imagine that they're going to be implementing a new generation of tensor core, a new generation of ray tracing. Um, core as well. I will be extremely curious at the end of the day to see how these GPUs actually perform in terms of the market and I will also be very curious to see whether there's going to be any shortages or not. In a recent earnings call, this is for Q4 2024, Colette Kress, hopefully I've pronounced her name correctly, said that we are delighted that supply of Hopper architecture products is improving. Demand for Hopper remains very strong. We expect our next generation products to be supply constrained, that is obviously in reference to Blackwell, as demand far exceeds supply. And I do think that this is going to be a big thing going forward. It's going to be very interesting to see what the um, supply situation is like concerning uh, the next generation of not only data center products, but also gaming as well. Now, obviously, there doesn't necessarily have to be 100% crossover. There could certainly be some differences, for example, the manufacturing process. I've heard that the lower end RTX 50 GPUs are probably going to be using 4NM, and the higher um, the higher variants, uh, sorry, higher performance variants, like for example 202, they will be using TSMC's 3NM. But it will also be very intriguing to see what the actual release dates are for these things and whether or not the gaming variants does end up launching this year or not um i've heard some really mixed things i have actually had some people absolutely swear to me that it's going to be next year that rtx 50 launches but i've also more recently had a couple of folks tell me that allegedly aibs have been briefed and we could be expecting RTX 50 to launch this year. Frankly, I'm still a little skeptical about that, but who the hell knows? Maybe they will just kind of do a release just in very short or very limited quantities, the equivalent of something like a Titan card, and then it will basically just be there as like this you know, ridiculously expensive high-end variant, but who the hell knows? It's going to be very interesting. I mean, NVIDIA just kind of seems to do stuff. I guess we'll know later on in the year, uh, probably not too long, whether or not uh, NVIDIA does plan to release. Now, ultimately, I also is going to be somewhat dependent, I suspect, on AMD. Uh, it does seem that RTX 50 is going to go first, in terms of a release so the rumor i heard is rtx 50 is also going to get some type of refresh as well with faster memory but whether or not the specifications for example the number of sms or whatever does go up who the hell knows ultimately i think there's just a lot of questions at the moment there seems to be some very conflicting information particularly concerning the release date of um, rtx 50 so i'll be very interested to see what happens sales of course of rtx 40 are okay but Ultimately, you know, let's say the RTX 4080 Super or whatever, it's, you know, it's 
it's decent, but um, they're not. I think for a lot of folks, they're just kind of like waiting now. I think I think you're so far into the generation that yeah, sure, people are still going to buy forty nineties or whatever, but. I suspect a lot of folks who had the cash initially, they've probably just bought a 4090 or whatever and then they've just and I settled on it. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Um, it'll be very interesting though to see what happens with the next generation of cards. Obviously, at the end of the day, if Nvidia does go first uh, for the high end, it means that they won't really have any competition because Battle Mage simply is not going to be anywhere near performant enough to take on the highest end RTX 50 cards and of course the same thing for RDNA 4 it's going to be just a mid-range product so for AMD of course it's going to be um, RDNA 5 which is going to be the new high-end SKUs with that said guys take care of yourselves apologies for not being on camera for this video but normal service shall resume tomorrow take care of yourselves bye for now